Hey everyone, Tony D, and this is the intro to my little mini documentary about Ancora, uh, the the uh, mental hospital that's in South Jersey. Uh, I wanted to tell a personal story about it. My relatives live uh, in a nearby town close to Ancora, and when the mental patients escape, and sometimes they do, uh, the uh, police alert the locals and uh, the reason they do is because back in the 70s my aunt was uh, along with some of my cousins were in their car in the driveway of their house when two of the escaped patients uh, came to them and tried to get in their car and after a few minutes they got bored and left uh, nothing happened then but later uh, one of the patients killed the other in the woods nearby um, so it's kind of a serious situation when uh, these patients escape. Um, they also tend, tended to go towards my aunt's farm because there was a bar. It's probably the closest bar in terms of the distance between the mental hospital and liquor. Uh, they also usually find them at uh, a, a certain liquor store that's fairly close to Ancora. I think it's actually called Ancora Liquors. Um, but, you know, watch my mini documentary and it gets even crazier. And that's, uh, this is my supercut from the Lotus Eaters uh, podcast. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Tony D and Little Joan with another Legend of the Pines from HistoricCamdenCounty.com comes the story of Ancora, New Jersey. Ancora was built in 1866 by a man named George Haskell and his followers who were spiritualists. Uh, they believed in a utopian commune where the villagers would work in the village and the elites would be mediums and psychics who would speak with the dead. Uh, Haskell died in 1876, but his followers continued on for a while until the village collapsed because communism doesn't work. After the village full of psychics and medians fell apart, in 1914 they built Sunny Rest on the same spot. This was the first tuberculosis sanatorium in the country, and this is the front gate, which is still there today. Then they built a county prison farm in 1939, which is also still standing. And uh, in the mid-50s they built Veterans Haven, which was for homeless veterans and the urban legends say that at night the veterans come out and fight to the death. Then in 1955 they built Ancora Psychiatric Hospital. This was a sprawling campus, 650 acres, to house 2,500 patients, 400 staff. It had its own laundry, sanitation, power plant, police station, fire station, uh, and the staff actually lived on campus in subsidized housing. Now the uh, patient roster is about 450, but they're some of the most extreme mental cases in the state. And cores also have underground tunnels to each individual building. Nothing says mental health like dark tunnels in the middle of the woods underneath an insane asylum. But the big problem was in the 70s when they couldn't subsidize the rent of the staff on campus anymore. So the staff left, they filled it with uh, welfare recipients has led to a huge spike in crime. Then they had to remove the, the recipients and tear down all the buildings. The bizarre history of Ancora Psychiatric Hospital is nuts. And the only thing I can think of that's more nuts, the only other place, is a place called Gotham City. According to the DC Atlas, Gotham City is actually located in the Pine Barrens. Gotham City has Batman. We have the Jersey Devil. Gotham City has Arkham Asylum. We have the Ancora Psychiatric Hospital. Is life imitating art or is art imitating life? 